There's nothing going on on Guam this week. Well, almost nothing. It's Labor Day, and just like in many other places, it's time for ribs, chicken, and other barbecue delights. Every year in Guam, the government and all its agencies hold their Labor Day picnic at the Ipau Beach Park in Tuman, and it's open to all the public. There are always tons of activities like volleyball, bands, singers, and entertainers, but what is most noticed is the smell of cooking in the air from all the barbecuing that goes on. This year, like we would all expect, and like everywhere else on the planet, things are just not the same. And just like the week began, it ended just as quietly on 9-11. There was a small ceremony held here at the small 9-11 memorial located at Tulifers Point, but it was closed to the public. Today, the actual day of the attack, I got to visit alone, and it was truly an eerie feeling with no one around. And just before the week ended on such a quiet note, there was another rally protesting the island's lockdown. Whether you agree with the pandemic or not, citizens around this world are becoming increasingly concerned about this head-in-the-sand attitude that many governments and some groups are taking. Although our governor here relaxed the lockdown restrictions uh, after the last protest, allowing the beaches and parks to open back up for exercise purposes, She's extended the lockdown twice since that time, a week at a time, which really frustrates everybody. All this after island residents and businesses were allowed to open and operate with strict mitigation. It seemed like some were just getting their heads above water and they were slam dunked again. We are now going on week five into this new lockdown, and the business community, the workers, Chamber of Commerces, along with several island doctors, are becoming more vocal. As far as the virus is concerned, Guam has gone through some mass testing and the result of that is roughly 10% of all those being tested are popping positive for this virus, whether they have symptoms or not. The hospitalization rate for the size of Guam's population remains at about 0.027% of positive cases. I think there currently are about 52 people in the hospital and 12 people in the ICU with maybe 10 or 11 of those on ventilators. Unfortunately, there have been 23 deaths since the pandemic began here on Guam, all recorded as COVID-related, which raises the most concern about truth and transparency from this government. For example, um, several weeks ago, we had a 62-year-old nurse retired uh, suffering from diabetes. She was in the hospital for three weeks, then she tested positive and passed away. We had another 59-year-old heart attack victim who was DOA at the hospital, uh, also recorded as a COVID death. Uh, just this last week, we had a 94-year-old woman and a 96-year-old man both pass away. Yep, COVID was blamed again. The one consistent thing lately ha that has been announced is that all victims have had comorbidities or underlying health conditions. The normal mortality rate for Guam today is similar, similar to that of last year's with uh, over 900 deaths. The economy's taken a huge hit, which is no surprise when the island counts on tourism and military spending for its very survival, neither which is happening. Many businesses have closed down, shut their doors for good. But this is 2020. What do you do? getting worse by yeah. the day.
Did they extend it? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Another yeah, week. This morning. Another, when? Another, another week. week. Early this morning. morning. But when until? Next one, Friday. One more week again. Oh yeah, week after week. You gotta, you gotta move the end zone again. I guess while the government of Guam takes this head in the sand attitude, the rest of the island will just have to take this wait and see attitude. But how long they can do that, nobody knows. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want this time. I won't take it to the heart. Cause I know we won't make it out. I've heard it all before. With no Labor Day barbecues, another lockdown, and 9-11, uh, well, I just had to make a pot of chili to make things all right.